Black Myth Wukong doesn't have mechanics to artificially lower the difficulty, such as a story mode. And you won't be able to summon your friend in game to help you either. So when you get stuck, you are truly stuck. What you can do, however, is utilize the plethora of magic spells and spirit summons this game has to offer to pass certain tough boss fights, and they can certainly carry you through the entire game. But do you know there is a hidden counter mechanic in the game that can make your combat much more fluid and help you to be really good at and enjoy the melee combat of this game? I'm of course referring to the Resolute Counter Flow. This guide will explain in detail how this skill works and use them to trivialize the toughest boss fight. First of all, let's take a look at the description of this skill in the game. It's the first skill in Smash Stance on the right. It says, performing heavy attack during light attack combo with a focus point consumed allows the destined one to execute a resolute strike. During resolute strike, the destined one can see through incoming enemy attacks and nullify their damage. Enemies that have been seen through are easier to stagger. All of these can be better translated to pressing the heavy attack button at the end of each light attack animation will trigger a resolute counter flow. And if at the same moment an enemy's attack is about to hit us, the resolute counter flow will become a counter strike. We will take no damage and the counter attack will deal increased stagger damage. Now, to be clearer, to successfully pull off the counter attack, three things have to happen at the same time. First, we are at the end of a light attack animation. There are four of such windows in a full light attack combo. Second, press the heavy attack button during that window to trigger resolute counter flow. And third, an enemy's attack has to land on us at the same time. If all criteria are met, we will see our character's staff glowing red and we will shortcut into a heavy slam to stagger the enemy. Now, let's take a look at the timing of light attack. We can of course pull off the full light attack combo by simply smashing the light attack button, which is square on PlayStation or X on Xbox. I will refer to it as the light button from now on. But the button press will only register or queue up during certain frames. That is when you can see Wukong's staff swing to his back with a short pause. So you only need 4 additional button presses to finish the combo. And here is the timing. 1 2 3 4 These are the same timing you can press the heavy attack button instead to interrupt light combo into resolute counter flow. So the key is to purposely stop smashing the button when doing the combo. Only wait until the end of each attack animation and then decide which button to press. Otherwise, multiple button presses during an attack will have already queued up the next action and making you unable to perform a heavy attack instead. Now, if you can successfully do this, you will see the staff glowing white. But this is only the weak version of Resolute Counter Flow. If you see the white glow during combat, that means you didn't counter any attack. Instead, if we time the resolute counter flow right at the time when we are about to get hit, our staff will glow red and that indicates a successful counter. We will take no damage and our hit will be more likely to stagger the enemy. Additionally, if we have unlocked the skill Skyfall Strike and the Invigoration, we will also get a focus point refund and a follow up with a Skyfall Smash to deal great damage. But do note that we can still take damage during the Skyfall Strike, so don't be too greedy. Now, with all that out of the way, let's take a look at a fight against the Yin Tiger, and we will try to use Resolute Counter Flow as much as possible. When his blade glowing red, he will perform a heavy slam to split the ground. This is a good time to counter. Follow up with Skyfall to avoid the shockwave. Panic rolling will definitely be punished by him. Counter his first swing, dodge the second, counter the third, and follow up with Skyfall. When he disappears, we can also counter the jump, but it can be difficult to time, so let's just run away. The roar is a grab attack. 
run away when he is hiding to avoid it. Now, his jump spinning attack is a great time to counter. He has a few follow ups, carefully dodge the spins, and we can counter the final heavy upward swing, follow up with a skyfall strike to punish. When he disappears again, we can try to counter the first down thrust, but we won't have time to do any damage. From here are all the same move set. Use a final resolute counter flow to finish the fight. Now there you have it. This is how combat really works in Black Myth Wukong. With practice, I'm sure you will find the game just becomes so much easier. Now that concludes this video. I hope you find it useful. Please leave a like and consider subscribing for more content like this. Thanks for watching and see you next time.